Hi guys, it's uh, AK Rookie here, and welcome to another tag video. This tag video is my first time tags. So, this before you think it's anything that like that <laughs> it's basically about think things out I did the first time and about them. So I'm just gonna go through questions, and we can go there about 21 questions here. So let's get through them. Do you still talk to your first love? No, I do not. I do not talk to that woman <laughs> no i don't i don't talk to her um it was uh let's just say it was a bad breakup and yeah let's just say well, i don't think i talked to any of my exes to be honest with you no but yeah i don't talk to my first love anymore what was your first job my first job actually was working in a small little i only did one shift there i worked in a pizza place or was it basically all off a takeout place Basically, which did food of the country. It wasn't like as if we deliver. You'd come in and, and take food. And I worked one midweek shift day, basically making making pizzas and things like that. I did it for one day and one day only. And that's my first job. Yeah, it, basically, I went in. Was it they went? Basically, I worked with someone else to see if I was going to be okay in the job. This one I was about um, sixteen. And basically, I did that, and it was yeah, it was an okay. You know, it was an okay job. I would have kept. I would have kept doing it, but. I basically, I didn't get called back for another day. So, yeah, that was my first job. I got paid for that. I was paid in cash. That was my first job. Yeah. What was your first car? My first car... My first car was a Ford Fiesta. I had it for roughly two and a bit years. It was a really good car. Um, but basically, I had to get rid of it in the end because basically it would cost me more to repair it than I could get for scrapping it. Um, basically, so I scrapped... I, scrapped the car and bought myself a new car which uh, which I drive now so I'm only actually on my second car ever which is quite good which is quite good I've not been driving that long guys just in case you didn't know but yeah yeah um who was the first person you texted today it was uh, Miss Marple telling her that I was on my way to go and pick her up to go to work so yeah that was the first person I texted today yeah if you don't know Miss Marple's one of the people I give lift to work in the morning who is the first person you thought of this morning? Uh, it's someone from Twitter. Someone, you know, was it, um, I talk to, was it DMs every day? Um, a good friend of mine. Um, basically, I'm going to give her a nickname. Um, basically, so I don't say who this person is, but they'll know who it is. Uh, basically, uh, LSX. There you go. That's the nickname. She, he, well, she, okay, I've said she. She'll know who it is, but there you go. Yeah. Who was your form teacher at secondary school? Um, I think it was Miss Morgan. Miss Morgan, yeah, when I went to secondary school. I went to a normal secondary school for, was it one year, which is what I, I prefer to my year of hell. I'm not going to go into that now, and I probably never will. It's basically something I don't really want to talk about. But yeah, she was my form teacher, year seven, as it, as it was called then. You know, the old first years, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah. That was um, that was my first secondary school. That was my secondary two school form teacher, and basically, yeah, she was she was okay as a form teacher, I suppose. But yeah, no, it's probably the school I didn't like, so I didn't like anything about that place. So yeah. Anyway, who was your first best friend, and do you still talk to them? Um, my first best friend is actually my um, my brother Chris. Um, basically, he's thirteen months younger than me. Um, basically, so he was my best friend, and of course we're still friends. Um, but if you're not talking about family, um, my first best friend, I'd probably say, hmm, not family, it's probably, uh, it was probably a guy called Tim. Yeah, uh, basically he was he became he was a really good friend of mine for about five or six years. Uh, no, I don't speak to anyone. No, no. Uh, where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? And my first ride on an airplane was to Jamaica. It was to my first love's sister's wedding. So we went all the way out there. It was really nice out there for a week. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah, but um, that's my first airplane ride. Yeah, I flew all the way to Jamaica and back. That was when I was like 21, 21. Yeah, 21. First time I flew. Yeah. Um, where was your first sleepover? Our uh, first sleepover was a friend's house called Nick. 
Uh, basically, yeah, that was it. Yeah, for sleepover that was. Yeah, basically he went to his house, stayed the night, and was it? It was. It was. It was good. Yeah, it was the first time I'd been away from my brothers actually for a night, because all the rest of the time I spent time with my brothers, no matter what I was doing. You know, when I was doing like curbs, I think that my brother was just that little bit younger than me. He'd been in the same place. You know, so it was the first time I spent anyway from family. It was really good. Yeah, I still talk to him occasionally, but not really. Um. I see him when I when I go home, like, and occasionally have a quick chat, but that's about it. Yeah. Who was the first person you talked to today? That was Miss Marple again, because obviously I picked her up and was like, hi, hi, and we talked in the car a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, same person again. Yeah. What was the first album you, you bought? It's the first album I actually bought. I um, actually bought two at the same time. I bought uh, Blur's Blur. And I bought uh, Prodigy's Fat of the Land. I bought those two at the same time. So technically, you know, that was my first album. First album I actually bought, yeah. First album I actually had was um, Michael Jackson's Thriller, which was bought for me as a, as a present. Yeah, all to say it was bought for my brother as a present and then I got a copy on tape. Yeah, cassette tapes, guys. They're things. Uh, what was the first concert you ever went to? The first concert I went to, I think, was when I was 18 and I went to see Travis with Mike from uni. Yeah, me and, me and Mike went there when I saw Travis. That's the first concert I ever went to and that was back when I was 18. It was really good. That's when I got a love for going to concerts and I went I went to like loads then. Not big bands, like, but, you know, it was good. But yeah, I went and saw Travis just as they started getting big as well, I think it was. Yeah, it was around the second album time. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah, just as just be, I think it was just after they done their cover of Britney Spears' um, "Baby One More Time" on Mark and Lard. God, that ages me, doesn't it? God, yeah, on Radio One. Woohoo! Um, first bone you ever broke? Um, it was my thumb. I broke my thumb sort of last year, so I actually went thirty-one and a bit years without actually breaking a bone, and then I go and break my thumb. So that's the first bone I ever broke was my thumb. Yeah. Uh, first piercing, I've not got any piercings, so no piercings. Um, yeah, no piercings whatsoever. Uh, first foreign foreign country you ever gone to? Um, it was Spain. I went on a family holiday back when I was probably about six. Yeah, I went to Spain. It was a really, really good, really good holiday. The first, I think it might be the first time I ever went abroad. It's the first holiday I can remember anyway. And yeah, we went went with family, which was weird because we went all the way from Wales, where we were living, to Birmingham, to where my grandparents was living, to then so we could then get a coach in the morning that would take us all the way down to the south coast. We'd then get on the ferry, which then would take us all the way down to Spain, and then from Spain it would take us all the way down to the Costa de Brava, or wherever it was. And yeah, it, it was it was a really really good holiday if I, from what I can remember. Yeah, it was the first time in a foreign country, if I can remember rightly. Yeah. First movie you remember seeing? Um, the first movie I ever remember seeing. Um, um, I think my first first movie I ever can I can remember seeing. Um, would have been at the uh, let's go, let's go with the cinema, not ones you see at home. Cinema. First one was Transformers the movie, not like you know the new ones that you see now. I'm talking like the old cartoon one, which was an amazing movie. And I think I watched it about two years ago. I saw it on it was on TV sometime, uh, and it's an amazing movie. If you ever get a chance to see it, guys, look at Transformers the movie from back in the eighties. Yeah, you want to go? You want to see it? It's a really good movie. Really good movie. Um, what was your first detention? Um, I the first detention was fighting. Um, I think I got into a fight because someone called me an idiot. Um, it's basically I'm dyslexic and basically uh, I, you know, basically I didn't like being called an idiot because they say I was in a stupid class and basically so I hit them. And that's the first attention I think I got, as I can remember anyway, yeah. So like that was my first attention. I think I was probably about eight maybe? No, probably even less than that, probably about seven. Yeah, first attention I got, first of many. Um, who was your first roommate? I got a class roommates when I was in uh, boarding school because after the year of hell, as I said earlier, I then went off to boarding school. Um, and basically, I had quite a few because I, uh, I was living with about five other people. So there was Wills, uh, Phil, um, Adrian, um, oh, 
trying to remember these people I was living with. Wow. Uh, Adrian. Uh, oh, God, I can't remember these people I was living with. But, yeah, there was, a, there, was about, there was about four other people I was living with, you know, for when I went to Golden School. So, yeah, unless you count off the brothers again, because I used to share a room with my brother, with Chris again. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what were the first lessons you ever took? Um, I'm going to take this as not like school lessons, as outside school, extracurricular, or things like that. And the fir first uh, lessons I can remember taking, um, I think, were... Um, uh, I think it might have been trombone. I was trying to play the trumpet. Yeah, so so there was that for a little while, but I never actually took up the trumpet there. Or rugby. Probably rugby was probably the one, because I probably did that at age six. But yeah, rug rugby maybe. But yeah, I remember trying to take up the trumpet when I was there, when I was when I was a bit younger. But never did, never did that. I also tried to take up piano, which nearly actually went somewhere. Uh, and but then I looked, kind of lost interest in it. <laughs> Yeah, because it was um, it was it was it was just it was distracting apparently from my school work, and I need to work on my school work more. So yeah. Uh, who was the first person on YouTube you ever watched? Uh, um. Uh, well, I used to watch those um, you know those sort of vi viral videos and things like that. But we, I'm going to change that to who the first YouTuber I ever subscribed to, and it was probably two people because I used to keep on having to search for them, and I thought I'll subscribe, and then I have to have Google Plus and all that rubbish that you know they have to do these days. But um, the first YouTuber I subscribed to was probably um, Dodgers Press Art to Continue, or it could have been uh, Woody's Game Attack. Actually, <laughs> one of those two. One of those two was the first ones because I used to always keep searching for them. But it's one of those two I searched to because um, I. For obviously news, I used to watch her news news shows, but she doesn't. She only does one a week, and there's no news these days. But yeah, I get all the rest of the news now. I get from like daily bite things like that on YouTube. Anyway, guys, that's the twenty one questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe. Uh, if you have a video you'd like me to do, uh, just uh, leave a comment below or tweet me at aka rookie with the hashtag aka rookie challenge. And as always, guys, have fun.